we are going to tackle about the geometric sequence. In this lesson, we are going to find finding the n term of the sequence is given, finding the n term if only two were given, finding the common ratio, finding a sub 1, and finding the summation of the given sequence, where the ratio of every two successive term is a constant. This ratio is known as common ratio of the geometric sequence. In other words, in a geometric sequence, Every term is multiplied by a constant which results in its next term. Let's have one activity. Find the nth term, the fourth term, and the tenth term of the geometric sequence. Determined by a sub 1 is equal to 8, r is equal to 3. To find the specific term of a geometric sequence, use the formula for finding the nth term. Step 1. The nth term of a geometric sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. So to find the nth term, substitute the given values a sub n is equal to 8, r is equal to 3. Into the formula, a sub n is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to n. Step 2. Find the fourth term, substitute n is equal to 4 into the equation for the n term. a sub 4 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to 4 minus 1. a sub 4 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to 3. a sub 4 is equal to 8 multiplied by 27. a sub 4 is equal to 216. Step 3. Find the 10th term and the, in same ways as the 4th term. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub 10 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to n minus 1. a sub 10 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to 10 minus 1, a sub 10 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 raised to 9, a sub 10 is equal to 8 multiplied by 19,683, a sub 10 is equal to 157,464. In a geometric sequence, the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. The, the number a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio of the sequence. The n term of geometric sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1 where a sub n is the ninth term a sub 1 is the first term r is the common ratio and n is the term position let's try another example finding the n term if only two terms were given finding the common ratio the symbol for common ratio is a small r and finding the a sub 1. So we have two terms are given which is the a sub 2 equals to 9 and a sub 3 equals to 81. So ang hanapin natin ay ang common ratio at ang a sub 1. In order to find the first term or the a sub 1, we will determine first the common ratio. Then we will use the formula for finding the a sub 1 in geometric sequence since we have the third term and the second term we will divide it to the common ratio or a sub 2 equals to 9 and a sub 3 equals to 81 r and r the symbol of the common ratio so r equals to a sub 3 divided by a sub 2 so the value of a sub 3 is 81 and the value of 
A sub 2 is 9. So, R equals to A sub 88, uh, 81 divided by 9. So, the common ratio is 9. Since we have the common ratio which is 9, let's find the A sub 1. Now, we will use the uh, formula for finding A sub 1. First, we will write the formula and a sub n equals to a sub 1 multiplied by r, which is the common ratio, raised to n minus 1. The n is the term position. First, isolve muna natin ang a sub 2 para makuha ang a sub 1. Uh, write the formula, a sub n equals to a sub 1 multiplied by r, the common ratio, raised to n minus 1. Ang a, ang a sub n ay magiging a sub 2 na siya kasi the n term equals a sub 1 which is yung unknown. Then, multiply siya sa r which the common ratio raised to n which is the term position ay 2 minus 1. The value of a sub 2 ay 9 equals a sub 1 then quantity 9 which is the common ratio raised to 1. Bakit naging 1? Kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. 9, then copy 9 equals to a sub 1 multiplied by 9 raised to the power of 1. So, multiply mo ng isang beses ang 9 sa sarili niya, then the answer is 9. Then copy the 9 equals to a sub 1 multiplied by 9. Ang um, equals ang 9 equals to ilagay sa unahan then a sub 1 then divide both sides by 9 kapag dinivide na this will be the answer 1 equals to a sub 1 same process sa pagkuha ng a sub 3 para makuha ang a sub 1 kung correct ba ang a sub 1 which is 1 to get the summation of the given sequence, we use the formula a sub n equals to a sub 1, quantity 1 minus the common ratio, the symbol is r, raised to n over 1 minus r. Then find the summation of a geometric sequence, we use the formula derived above. To use the formula for the n partial of a geometric sequence, we only need to substitute the given values we have. A sub 1 equals to 1, and A sub 2 equals to 9, and A sub 3 equals to 81. The common ratio is 9, and the n term position is 3 because we have 3 terms. A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3. If we are going to use the formula, S sub n equals to a sub 1 quantity of 1 minus r the common ratio raised to n over 1 minus r the common ratio s sub n it becomes s sub 3 because we have 3 terms s sub 1 s sub 2 I, a sub 1 a sub 2 and a sub 3 then equals a sub 1 which is 1 quantity of 9 raised to 3 over 1 over 9 S sub 3 equals to 1, quantity of 1, minus 9 raised to 3. So, ang 9, um, multiply mo siya by itself. So, magiging, ang 9 raised to 3 is 729 over negative 8. S sub 3 equals to 1, quantity 1, minus 729. The answer is sub, negative 728 over negative 8. S sub 3 equals to ne negative 728 over negative 8. The answer is 91. So, that is our summation. If we add the 3 terms, kung hindi natin kagamitin ang formula na S sub n equals to A sub 1, quantity of 1 minus R is to n over 1 minus R, kung hindi natin, siyan, kung hindi natin gagamitin, pwede natin siya i-add ang tatlong terms. So, 1 plus 9 plus 81. The answer is 91. So, that is our summation. So, that's all. Thank you. I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa lesson natin ngayon. Thank you.